Hello everyone, in this demo we will take a look at how you can manage uh, dependencies using TAMOS. So uh, if we run TAMOS config and we open our configuration file, we see uh, that one of the configuration options uh, states uh, requirements format. In this case, we are using uh, requirements as uh, used by Pipen. And uh, here is a new configuration option that states uh, if you would like to use virtual environment uh, and installing your packages into the virtual environment, uh, or uh, you are fine with using, for example, system sites packages. So uh, if you configure virtual environment, uh, then uh, TAMOS will automatically pick uh, this configuration option and use uh, virtual environment for managing your uh, dependencies. So let's say uh, I will activate it. And uh, right now I'm uh, having an empty project without any uh, dependencies. So what I will do, I will uh, add some dependencies. For example, I will add Flask. And um, based on the logs, you can see that uh, there is created uh, a structure uh, that corresponds to overlays configuration that we have uh, and uh, there is also created a pip file as we use uh, pip and uh, style of requirements so here you can see generated uh, pip file uh, by tot uh, what i can do i can also uh, list available uh, package sources uh, so uh, this is something that is uh, provided by backend and the backend uh, shows me uh, what uh, Python indices I can use to consume packages. So let's say I would like to use uh, this package uh, index and uh, I will install TensorFlow from that uh, package index. So uh, I can provide uh, index URL. And uh, if we open uh, uh, pip file here you can see that we have new uh, source of packages and now uh, tensorflow uh, in any version is installed from this uh, package index what you can do you can also uh, issue some like amos add uh, enum 3.4 uh, but that package makes sense to be installed only if you're running python uh, interpreter version below 3.4 as uh, 3.4 is a backport package uh, so uh, I can add that and uh, in this case uh, again the pip file will be adjusted and there is a new package uh, that is installed from the default index that is PyPI org and uh, environment markers are propagated uh, to uh, that configuration section uh, what I can do now, uh, I can issue some advice. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, these requirements are sent to backend uh, and it responded quite uh, quickly. Uh, I don't know if, if this uses cached version, probably yes. And now, or cached results. And now what I can do, uh, I can install these requirements uh, by providing Tamos install and, and in that case uh, the virtual environment will be used but in this case uh, Tamos thought that I'm using uh, already a virtual environment so no uh, management of the virtual environment is used uh, so this is uh, basically the same behavior as uh, Pipend does uh, that's because I'm running uh, S2I uh, container image. And another command that you can use is also Tamos run. Not use because uh, the installation broke the environment uh, because there was installed some uh, wrong version of card. That, and this, this uh, shows why uh, managing virtual environment makes sense because I was uh, putting everything into one. Uh, uh, so uh, one uh, directory with packages and basically broke the environment. But uh, if you uh, if you use it sanely, it will work. Uh, but yeah, the demo is not well prepared. Sorry for that.
Do you have any questions? Uh, there was also the um, allow pre-releases down at the bottom of the pip file. Mm -hmm. I, that that was that was to allow uh, the user to specify like um, specific packages that get pre-releases, right? Yes, that's a uh, dot feature to selectively allow pre-releases for certain packages. Mm. And uh, I can probably show you. Uh, to help with the rest of the commands. Uh, okay. So, I'll need to improve. Okay, so uh, there's also a new command that is run that runs uh, some Python uh, script inside the uh, managed virtual environment. Uh, you can add the dependencies that was shown, uh, but you can also uh, remove dependencies uh, from uh, requirement files, and uh, all the commands integrate with. Uh, with um, uh, overlays, so you can specify runtime environment uh, for all these commands. So in that case, uh, the given runtime environment will be uh, used with a corresponding uh, virtual environment that was created. And how, how did you break the virtual environment? Is it uh, mixing up uh, system uh, Python modules and uh, the ones you want to install? Uh, it was not clean environment. Uh, it was a SOI environment uh, where I installed uh, Tamos into a SOI virtual environment. And that's something that okay. uh, yeah. you should, do. You should install Tamos into uh, system packages and provide to, to users. Cool. Um, any other questions? There's also one more uh, command that is Tamos uh, Perk that will clean the, all the environments and Tamos uh, PN that will give you path to the virtual environment created. So there are no more questions. No, which version string? Is it uh, Tamos 1.7? Mm, I think so, the, yes. the most recent one. Okay, cool. Thanks for this one.